Hello guys, it's Milas Dart here. I'm doing a review of Razer's Vapor Blasters. Um, I got sent a, a package, thank you very much, uh, to Razer for sending that to me. Um, so, let's get on with the, the review. Now, uh, rather than cover the uh, old range, yes, old, <laughs> um, we have the uh, Atlas 250 and the Delta 500. Um, over here we got some more interesting stuff. We have the uh, the Delta Sport range. Um, what that, or rather the, the the Vapor Sport range, and what that comes with is a uh, Atlas 250 Sport and a Delta 500 Sport. Um, so I'm going to review these just to let you know, UK fans, um, rather Europe. Fingers crossed this is hope looking to be released this summer um, or failing that by fall 2013. Um, I spoke to Razer and they have told me that we can expect new blasters coming out this year. Um, so it's going to be interesting to follow up and see what they uh, will be doing. Now the Vapor, what's so unique about the Vapor blasters? The main thing about them is the, their ammo, it is a, a gel ammo, more like a, a water based um, sort of BBs um, and also the trigger operated, uh, fully trigger operated uh, toy blasters. Now the, the first um, item I want to uh, review is the Atlas 250 Sport. Um, straight off the bat, I love the colour scheme, it's just really striking um, and it just looks really cool compared to the old uh, red block colours. Um, it does come with a tactical rail, um, so I'm not sure what's going on there. The Nerf accessories do kind of fit, um, but some people I've read getting a bit more luck with airsoft accessories not quite sure what's going on there but I can I can see where they're coming from now there's a I want to clear up a bit of confusion also about what the numbers stand for on these blasters now this is the Atlas uh, Sport 250 now it doesn't mean that it holds 250 rounds uh, it comes with 250 rounds this blaster itself is the pistol version um, and pretty much it holds 50 rounds of ammo in one sitting and um, it has ranges of up to 60 feet. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say that is arced rather than flat. Um, I am waiting to hear back from them for that confirmation but I'm pretty safe with that. Um, I'm going to show you the, the, the priming mechanism. It's pretty similar to a strong arm um, but it just the look of it um, it's really comfortable I have to say now I've got quite big hands you can see there's still room on the grip there um, so prime back that's a really strong spring in there let me show you the down the barrel head as you see I'm Pulling the truth slightly, you can see where the mechanism is. No, no. <laughs> okay, there we go. Right now, when it comes to loading uh, the blaster itself, it's got the loading door at the top of the blaster. So now that holds 50 in itself. I have played around with this, um, and what I found is not only with this blaster, but also the the larger Big Daddy rifle. Uh, when it gets down to about sort of 20, 25 rounds, something like that, you start to see a lot more sort of not not really jams, but just misfires. Um, and somewhere in the blaster, somewhere in the in the firing mechanism, it starts to when it gets down to around sort of 20 BBs it starts to let through two rounds at a time and it starts to cause uh, premature explosions uh, before the rounds even leave the barrel. 
Um, but if you keep topped up, happy days. Um, now this does come with, this is what sets this at sports system apart from the regular system. It comes with this. It comes with a 250 um, gel ammo, uh, ammo depot or refill uh, depot. Um, it's got a clear door on the top and there you load the, the BBs into there. Um, a good tip is also I found that rather than take out the, the gel ammo straight from the box, you don't know how long it's been on the shelf, you don't know how long it's been in storage or in the warehouse, just pop it into um, just, just a bowl of water and just let it sort of sit and rehydrate for about, about an hour, two hours max. Um, just to let it just to, to grow a little more um, what I found is that there is a uh, marked performance um, and accuracy and they 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 tend to when they hit the target explode more often okay so with the I want to show you the the depot door when you load it into or clip it onto the the, the blaster itself this pulls back this little trap door here and then uh, starts to let uh, the water BBs or the gel ammo feed through. Um, so when you pop it on, here we go, this is what it looks like. <laughs> looks like something like Jurassic Park. <laughs> um, but I mean otherwise I would say what I found was better to just have this in my pocket or like a molly or something like that. Um, and just literally run around with this. It doesn't have a sight um, on top, but it it is fairly accurate um, when you you point a blast. Um, some people I saw preferred to have this on top. It doesn't really make any difference um, in accuracy because when you're pointing, you could, you're pretty much looking down the, the side of the blaster anyway. So that is the Atlas uh, Sport 250 system and this is a bit more exciting um, we get on to the big daddy this is the Delta Sport 500 um, straight off the bat it just looks awesome we have a pump handle pump action system rather there um, it comes with on top again one tactical rail whether in the future they're looking to bring out accessories or expand the range, um, it's not confirmed. I have asked the question. Um, I'm waiting for that confirmation. Uh, as soon as I do, I'll let you guys know. But, I mean, th they are missing somewhat of a, a trick. I'm not entirely sure what they would put on there, honestly speaking. Um, whether it's... Um, with this, you have a, an iron, fixed iron sight at the front of the blaster. And then on the, uh, the rail grip, you have another um, sight on top there. Um, so whether they bring out sight, scope, what have you, we'll have to see how that works. Um, the load door is just there. Just there in front of the, uh, the, tactical, well, the rail grip. Um, and it has on the back here the, the the blaster sling. Now, let me just dry fire this for you. I've got to say again, um, I've got pretty large hands, and again, there's loads of space there for you to hold that. It's just really um, just a sturdy blaster. You can really, honestly, feel the quality. The pump grip, I love. It's so big. Um, it, you can hold it pretty much anywhere and get a good grip. So that's now primed. So let's hear it fire. That, that's loud. Yeah, that's going to be like that. Okay, now it does come with a detachable stock. I've got to say, it's, it's solid as anything. Um, it's got... Um, well, it's got a, a grip inside, um, so you know you can carry it in certain different ways. Um, 
and it's got tiny indents on either side there let me show you the inside fitting of the stock there you can see yep you can see there's two little nubs there um, that pop in and out um, so you can put the stock in this is the blaster in its glory it looks <laughs> it looks awesome I'd say the stock is just it's the right size for me um, I don't know what it's going to be for like sort of taller um, or smaller players but for me perfect it feels good not only looking down this side um, of the, the, the rail grip but looking down just slightly ajar down the main tactical site I can get a really good look down there as well um, so that's that and it comes out pretty easy why you would want to play without the stock I, it doesn't really make any difference honestly speaking um, you know it really doesn't make any difference honestly speaking um, now again this is the the, uh, the Atlas Sport 500 it doesn't take 500 rounds it comes with 500 rounds uh, but this blaster itself can actually hold a hundred um, uh, gel ammo rounds itself it comes with um, a, a depot uh, or ammo refill as well so 215 here 100 here we're looking at 350 rounds plenty of blasting fun um, I played sort of gung-ho firing it everywhere non-stop spamming to conservative you know picking my shots and honestly speaking the the blaster it lasted it lasted its time um, I've got to say I'm not entirely sure why you would want the the refill um, depot on there it, it looks cool um, and it does have a sight itself you see that yeah okay um, on the the depot itself um, and the the depot does slightly sort of arc down on the blaster so I'm guessing at some point it would meet up with, with the, the blaster site there um, so that's this blaster it's awesome I have had a lot of fun with it um, I've got to say, it does come with one more um, surprise. Let's take a look. It comes with a weapon sling! Yay! <laughs> well done, Reza. Big thumbs up for that. Um, a lot of blasters we see today from different brands, um, they're, they're a bit lacking when it comes to accessories. Yes, we have stocks, um, sights, um, ammo holders, but, you know, just fans we just we really want these um, um, it just says for the, those that don't have the time effort tools of, of making um, these slings themselves thank you you know it, we we're more than happy to pay a little more to, to get these with our blasters so let me just hook it in onto the blaster um, let me show you what it's like um, when I stand up. Now, this blaster pretty much sort of sits, I don't know if I can show you, um, sits just around my hip area so I can draw very quick. Um, even if I throw it over like that, um, it just sits above my hip, the, the grip, and I can quickly draw perfect. Um, running, whether you hold it to, to your side or from the grip or the blaster itself or the the rail grip it's just awesome um, so Razor awesome. honestly big thumbs up for that now let me tell you about the uh, the ammo itself as I said they're water-based uh, gel ammos um, they some, some of the concerns people have I will they're not reusable at all it's one shot that's it it's gone um, so that might be a deal breaker for some people but I mean it's summer or winter or whatever um, 
you know, some people might want to play um, sort of water gun battles, um, but a lot of people just don't want the mess or the fuss that comes with it. Um, so with these rounds, you know, you can pretty much um, sort of make them make them last a good time. You can play a battle for about two three hours if that's how long your battles last, um, and you can make 500 to 1,000 last easy that battle. The refills, I believe, um, they range from, um, I've seen them around for 399 to 499 uh, US dollars. Um, so, so if that converts over to, to UK Great British Pounds, that's still okay. Um, as I said, not everyone's going to want to buy them, and that's fair enough. It comes down to preference at the end of the day. Uh, but if you want something new, something different, I would recommend having a go at these uh, because they are fun. Um, they don't make a mess. There's no massive scavenge or clean up at the end of the day. Um, and you know, for foam rounds, there is the headache of picking them up, people stealing your ammo and whatnot. Um, so th that's the the benefit there. Um, the draw other drawback some people might see is that you know you have to some of them you may have to rehydrate the rounds. You, you know again that's a preference thing. If you plan ahead in advance, that's fine. Um, if one of your friends runs out of ammo mid battle, does that them out of the game? Possibly, um, but you know if you if you make the, the preparations, like any other battle, where you all bring um, enough ammo, then it's not a problem. Um, it does, on impact, disintegrate. Um, it's made of, um, I think it's 98% um, uh, water-soluble uh, liquid, um, with 2% being a, a solid of some sort. Um, so you can have indoor battles. I wouldn't rec really recommend it unless it's furniture free. Uh, don't knock over your mum's uh, uh, Ming vase. That's not going to be good. Uh, <laughs> um, so yeah, you know, the, when they hit the, the surface, they break on impact um, and they evaporate uh, without leaving any mark. They don't damage clothes. They don't stain anything. They're pretty odourless. Um, you know, I sort of fired it around the house um, and tested it on marble, uh, work surfaces, uh, sort of curtains, carpets and stuff. It's fine. No worries at all. Um, so if you want to do a water battle without the drench fuds, then I would really recommend you pick up one of these and try them out for a battle. Even for stock games, um, it's fun. Um, and sort of humans versus zombies again you get the fun out of there you kind of get like a you know a bit of a splash effect and it's um it's fun <laughs> okay guys thanks very much for your time um this is my last start this is the atlas 500 sport good fun grab it try it out thanks for your time take care